tonight, the Oregon football program remembering the life of Kyrie Jackson. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Jennifer Singh. The former Oregon cornerback lost his life in a car accident in Maryland last weekend. The crash also killing two of Jackson's former high school teammates. Tonight, the Ducks holding a candlelight vigil at Autzen Stadium. And KEZI 9 Sports Director Cameron Derby joins us live in the studio. Cam, what can you tell us about tonight's vigil? Yeah, well, the stories and tributes that poured in from Dan Lanning and his former teammates really told you who Kyrie Jackson was was as a human being and as a football player. And this was one of the things where Jackson's teammates shared stories of his passion, enthusiasm, and joy for the game of football and how it inspired them to be better people and players. Fans and organ players lit candles together while a tribute video of Jackson played on the Jumbotron. Each player and coach Dan Lanning getting emotional as they recounted stories of Jackson, not just on the sideline, but in day-to-day -day life, each one of them touching on Jackson's passion for football and trials and tribulations he overcame to accomplish his goal of being drafted into the NFL. I'll challenge every one of us to tell the people that we love how much we love them every day because it's so important and it's a moment I wish I could have back. Right now, Kyrie had a goal. He had a goal to play in the, uh, to make it to the NFL. Kyrie made that goal. Thinking about that as a teammate and that, having that guy to be your teammate, it motivated you in a way that you wanted to play even better. You wanted to play so good that because Kyrie was playing good. Some of the stories Jackson or they shared of Jackson uh, by Coach Dan Lanning really spoke to who he was to his team. Take, for example, the story of a huge moment in the Pac-12 championship game when Jackson's joy for the game made an impacting memory on the entire team. I also remember the Pac-12 championship game is third and 11. It's a critical play you know, in the game, and Kyrie gets a big interception, huge interception for our team. And this guy was so passionate that he immediately goes into full body cramps because he's celebrating so hard after the interception. He has a hard time going back in the game, and I will forever remember this. You know, when he made a play, it was special, but when he celebrated a play, it was that much more special because this guy celebrated every part of life. And real quick, I do want to mention that Jackson's parents were in the crowd tonight. They did speak a little bit, and Oregon football was grateful that they made the trip back to Eugene. Kyrie Jackson accomplished his goal of making it to the NFL in 2024 for the NFL draft when he was selected by the Minnesota Vikings. He was 24 years old. Live in studio, Cameron Derby, KEZI 9 Sports.